Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Broken Sword Shadow of the Temple. It's probably one of the last episodes, I guess, if we're gonna get through pretty quickly. Now, um, <clears throat> the well, the well, and who might know everything better than, or anything better than, Lopez himself. Lopez, tell us where the well is. Please, just stop spraying. Hi, Lopez. Got a minute? Certainly, senor. How can I help you? Please make me a sandwich. You must know just about everything that there is to know about this place. See, I have lived my whole life here in the service of the Divas Conchelos. Do you know of a well anywhere around here? A well? See, si, senor. This used to be a fortified villa. How can you last a siege without water? Great! So where is it? How should I know? The well was covered over in the last century. It was dangerous, you see. And you have no idea where it was? None. It was hidden even before my grandfather's time. Alright. You must have a vague idea of where the well is. It must have been in the old house's courtyard, so that would put it around here. Here? Okay. Now, how do we find it? There might be a way. Let me think about it. Yeah. Any ideas yet? We are looking for a source of water, see? Yes. Mm. For generations, the Spanish country folk have had a secret way of locating water, even if it is meters beneath the ground. Ah, don't You're not talking tell about me. water dousing, are you? Eh? You know, you get a stick and walk around until the stick twitches and dig there. That's oh, bullshit. You've heard of it. Yeah, I think most of the planet has. Okay, let's get a stick. Uno momento. It must be a special stick. A Y of hazel. Or right. Harry Potter swans, you, you know, trees? snatched in two pieces. See? Here. That is hazel. There's hazel. Jeeves. I went over like the music in the background. Da, 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 da. It kind of reminds me of the desert in, in Diablo 2. Branch on the whole damn thing. Damn, I missed Diablo 2. There wasn't a single usable Really? So that was what a hazel tree looks like. Alright. So there's a hazel tree, but there's nothing that we can use. Well, but there's another place we can get that stuff. There. I went over to find a suitable stick. Aha! Voila! There we are. Now we have to show that to Lopez. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. We're so close. I can smell it already. I smell something else, but... <laughs> I say I'm very blah. Got a minute? Certainly, senor. How can I help you? Well, I got my divining rod. Now what? Simplicity itself, senor. Hold the wand at the upper ends of the Y. Apply a little tension with your wrists so that the slightest movement of the wand tip is clear and walk slowly and steadily over the area. Sounds easy enough. <laughs> we'll find this well in no time. Yeah, or not. Please don't make me do it. I would feel stupid. Jesus Christ, George, would you please hurry up and finding that well? I know it's it's a task for an urban, you know, for an urban guy like you, it's pretty hard to accomplish. Come on, Senior Stobart, you've, you've found something. This is it. This is where we find the secret of the Templars. You Hidden really here want for to tell me that it worked with a Lost binding rod? Lost from the sight of oh, man God. until now. 
the mystery is revealed. It's a tin can. I've been walking up and down with a twig in my hands, looking for a tin can. It had water in it. That's what the dowsing stick must have detected. I'd have yeah. to check with an archaeologist, but I don't think the Templars left that. In truth, Senor Stobart, the lawn was laid many, many years ago. This can could date back to the Napoleonic Wars. Get rid of it and I'll try it again. Lopez threw the can away. It seemed to fall an awfully long way. The splash at the end confirmed what we both suspected. Well, I'll be a monkey's uncle. It has been here all the time. All those years and nobody found it. Especially it you a as a gardener as you would have just had to work us. here and get all that shit I could done. Have fallen down that. Yeah, that's what I was saying, man. Who couldn't see that well? I mean, come on. Like, really. Ah, but we are close, guys. We are so close. The well had been lost for decades at least. The air was cool after the noon sun, but that's not what gave me goosebumps. I have a really, really bad feeling about this. Me too. Let's look at that lion. Remember the lion and the unicorns from the Bible? Yep. Here's the line. From a distance, the I tell you, there's no impressive. unicorn coming. Close up, it was frightening. Hey, one of the fangs is a separate piece. Well, what do you know? Let's pull it. I could hear the sound of a lot of stone moving, and I knew I was in danger. Move? Wow. Not good. <laughs> Oh, very funny, you psychos! <laughs> Talking to himself. Senor Stobar! Are you alright? No, I'm dead. It's okay, Lopez, I'm fine! Hey, Susto Mirazada! You gave me a scare! Is that the nice translation try, of that? Nice um, My Spanish is not up to date here. Let's go there. I wish that I had Leary's flashlight now. Aww. It was too dark to see and I had to rely on touch. It just felt like a pitted stone wall. I'd almost been killed for the sake of a red herring. Okay, well then, be a pussy and, you know, we'll, we'll make some light with a mirror. No problemo. I realized I could use the mirror to reflect the light from above. There, in the middle of the door, I could see some kind of socket. It looked like this wasn't quite the dead end it seemed. Nope, it's not. Well. Now I knew what I was looking for. It only took a few moments to find it. And there it was, a worked socket. As smooth and perfect as if it had been carved only yesterday. Right. What do you do with the sockets? Well, you put something in. I slid the stone <laughs> key into the lock. There were buttons that turned the dials. Alright. Here comes the big riddle. So, the red thing turns the whatevers. And the yellow thing turns that. And when you're done with doing something... You know, um, then you have to click this. All right. I must have made a mistake. The lock okay. spun back to neutral and nearly took my fingers off. I was gonna have to start from scratch again. Yeah. So uh -uh. what you have to do is I can. You have to look at your journal basically, and um, look at the numbers from the wherever it is. Uh, Marib, Syria, Marib, Spain. There we are. All right. So here are these numbers: x and x and y v, which is fourteen. What you have to do, you have to put in the, these numbers uh, according. And to to what what's what's shown on these things. So let me write that down. K 
Yeah, that's 14. That's 27. That's 6. That's uh, 50. No, that's else 50. 60, 70, 80, 81. 3, 1. Um, that's a 7. That's a 12. And that's a 25. Right. Okay. Right. So the first one should be an X, and then you'll just take the five. No, it's a seven. Uh, the problem is that this wheel is pretty slow. Damn. No. I said X. Oh, I'm stupid. <laughs> it was a four. It was a four all along. It's not a six. The four comes next. Uh, the seven comes next time. All right, that's the I first heard the one. sounds of the lock moving. Either that or the wall was going to come down on my head. Right. Now 20 uh, on the above thingy. And a 7 down here. Yep. Now, um, we only have 6. So on top, you only have that and this. Uh, the next one is LXXX, triple X, L triple X. <laughs> uh, there we are, L triple X. That's 80 per se, I think, yeah, it's 80. Because C is cent centio or something, and the X is minus 10, so 90. So that's 80. 80, and then we have a one. Look at me teaching your Roman numbers here. Uh, um, I found that puzzle pretty annoying because the mechanics is pretty slow. Uh, next we have a three in Roman letters. And who tells that computer games do not teach you something? You know, this is better than any learning game. Then we have a one, so that is pretty easy to accomplish here. Uh, uh. Then we have a 17. You know what that looks like. Let's... Oh, uh, wait, 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 17, I said. 17, now we need a 7 here. I played that on the iPhone, that was super annoying, because it's just as slow. And the next one is a 12, so we have to go all the way to the 2. Dit, and I think that's the last one. Yeah, that is a 25. My god. Takes a lot of time to put that code in. But, you know, it's an ancient code wheel. That's it. Oh, yes! Uh, bonus points for that, I hope. I knew the old Stobart finger work wouldn't let me down. <laughs> bonus points! Uh oh Before I left though, there was one last thing to do. You won't be needing that replacement piece anymore, Countess. I found it with the children. You'll probably want to be alone for a while. I'll be out in the garden with Lopez. All right. Back in Nico's apartment. Oh dear. George, welcome back. Come in, George. It's good to see you again. Yeah. Is it? Yeah. Sure. What did you find in Spain? Without Andre, we wouldn't have got this far, George. Yeah, I know. Yeah, the clues without led me, to you an underground died. chamber at the bottom of a well. The Templars had left a tapestry showing a chessboard. The white pieces were vastly outnumbered. There was a stream running across the board, and a Templar knight on a horse. Does it mean anything to you, Andre? No, nothing. Maybe we should tell Andre what else you found, George. There's a map and a Latin inscription, 
to the west at the edge of the world. Georges found that in a cave in Syria. Yeah, where the assassin almost killed me. Then we've got the burning of Jacques de Molay and the date, 1314. From the window of the church in Montfaucon Square, one of the few places where nobody tried to kill me. Then we have the image of a church that Georges found at the excavation. I don't recall anyone trying to kill you there either, Georges. And finally we have the tapestry in Spain. Did I mention I almost got killed there? Not yet, but I'm sure you're about to. It was only my cat-like reflexes that saved me from certain death. Cat-like reflexes, eh? And while I was risking life and limb, where were you, Andre? Getting your glasses fogged up over an Etruscan vase? That's enough, boys. Can we get back to saving the world? Of course. My apologies. He started it. Well, <laughs> the Latin phrase are the words it. of Julius Caesar. He was describing the island of Britain. Are you sure? The map didn't look much like Britain. How come Caesar I said Britain described all Britain along. as being at the edge of the world? To the Romans, the Mediterranean was the center of the universe. Britain was a remote, unfriendly place inhabited by blue painted savages. It doesn't change uh, much. Especially William Wallace. Well, they've stopped painting themselves blue. Except when they go to a football match. They used True. an extract from a plant called Woad, Isetis tinctoria. The Scots were using it until fairly recently in their wars with the English. Fairly recently? I don't recall the Scots being at war with the English. How recently are you talking about? I believe William Wallace's men used it in the 13th century. They might well have been using it as late as... Uh, you can't remember, can you? 1314. Ah, we're back onto that, are we? Andre, what is it? What do you mean? 1314 in Scotland. The Battle of Bannockburn. That would explain the stream on the chessboard. That's what a burn is. Right, Andre? As in Bannockburn? Right, George. And it gets better. Tradition I have has smoke it pot. that the Scots were helped That's why by I'm a shock sitting here on the uh, sofa like this. Well, can't you guess? Nuts Templar? Yes, a group of outlawed Templars. They are said to have turned the tide for the Scots. And it all ends at a church in the Isle of Britain at Bannockburn in a church. What are we waiting for? I'll call a cab. Go, go, I can't go. Walk. Andre, you've been loads of help, but... What George is trying to say is that you shouldn't feel guilty. I was? We understand you've got commitments. Yeah, smoking but pot. Listen, we have to hurry. Let's go, George. We'll see it through. First of all, oh, we and, have to uh, hurry. Don't Google. worry about us. We'll be fine the next morning after waking up next to her. All right, <laughs> let's go outside. I need to take. Where a dump. are you going, George? Do I need to spell it out? Don't snap at me. If you're going to take a leak, why don't you say so? Okay, I'm going to take a leak. L E A K. Tickets, please. Oh, hi. That's a standard full price peak return. Don't you have a senior citizen's rail card? I rarely travel by train. Your My voice ticket is, is perfectly valid, is it not? Well, yeah, but you could have saved up to a third of the cost. I do not need to indulge in puffling thriftiness. Blimey, you're a funny old bird and no mistake. Tickets, please, sir. Here. Here, I have my tickets. They're super cheaply priced. Off to Sterling, eh? Yeah. Hey. Well, I hope you won't be disappointed. It's a miserable place this time of year. Still, there's plenty of pops and a lovely view from the castle. Thank you. Yeah, that's where I came here. I don't want to worry you, but there was something familiar about that guy. Are you sure? You're tired. Perhaps you're mistaken. Hmm, maybe. But I didn't like the look in his eyes when he spoke to you. Hey. Pardon me. She must be deaf. Yes, my dear. Do you know what time we're due in Sterling? A quarter to six. But we're running eight minutes late. Well, you're well informed. Do you know Sterling well? Yes, I do. Is that where you two lovebirds are bound? Yeah, we... It's one of the places we thought we'd stay on our holiday. 
Be sure to visit the castle, won't you? Oh, I'm sure it's a neat place. But we are not really interested in history, are we, George? Uh, no. No. Does the name Merlin mean anything to you? Merlin? A master of illusions. Oh, you said Merlin? Then no. Nothing. Alright, I'm mad. Ed. Would you believe that this clown's nose led us to being on this train tonight? I would indeed. No, honestly, it... You would? Certainly. You have an honest face. Yep. That's a nose with a history, all right. So you said. Do you know what this is? Yes, I do. A young friend of mine shook my hand with one just the other day. Yeah? Well, that's outrageous. He should be shot. Perhaps. Still, his intentions were good. I'm sorry that you've been zapped by one of these things. You shouldn't be. What about that? What's the book you're reading? Oh, it's something I've picked up at the station. A medieval detective story. Quite well written for that kind of thing. It's been out of print for years. What's the title of the book? The Crooked Crusader Caper by Molly Pegram. I assumed the author was a woman, but apparently not. Nope. His real name is... Professor Nigel Pigram. That's right. Do you know him? No, I never met him. Sure, she's a great fan of his, though. Is there a church called St. Ninian's at Sterling? Yes, there is. And I know why you're going there. You do? Of course I do. It's obvious you're in love. Yeah. You're eloping, and they say a romance is dead. Right. Now, let's take a dump. Finally! Can't you sit still, George? I need to go to the John. While you're there, check out the buffet car, George. Unthinkable though it is, I am hungry enough to eat English food. Okay. Yeah, that, that means something. All right, let's go in here. And talk to a fat guy. Hi, having a party? No, this is Britless. Come on, join us, man. Go away, Basha, wake up, man. What's company? His breath was like the outlet from a chemical factory. Excuse me, mate, he's taking a nap. Sleeping like a bobby. I'll wake him up when we get to Newcastle. We passed through Newcastle half an hour ago. And I never noticed. All right. See you later. Let me open the door for you. You haven't opened that window, pal. Why not? It's freezing out there. Okay, then not. Let's go in here. Um, let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Is there something that we can do? Oh, yeah. Right. Oh hi. Oh no. I the know you. Ready from the hotel. We don't. Well, he didn't scare me. Hey, Buster. This is a no smoking car. Okay. Maybe he did scare me. Got a worse. bit. I suddenly realized who the conductor had reminded me. Echo. Marquez Burger. All right. Tension building up because the end is near. So. I'll see you around in the next episode. Goodbye.